Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and we're going to continue on making our board lookup um, zone file. So, first, do make dear zones. I already executed that. So, we're going to go into zones. And also, make the file. Make sure the file is the same way as the other one. If you don't know for sure, do cat um, at c bind names conf dot local. And there it is. Spoonfed.local.db. What do we have? Spoonfed.local.db. All right. So I'm gonna edit that. I already made mine, but uh, I'll walk you through what what's all in here. So the default time to live, I made it three days. Now I'm kind of wondering if there should be a semicolon right there. Uh, God damn. Wait a minute, one sec. So yeah, I was right. There should be a semicolon there. Sorry. So the default time to live will be three days. Right, this eight, uh, add symbol is just for all. Everything has uh, to do with spoon for the local. I'm gonna start with a, a internet start of authority, and it will be first that spoon for the local. Don't forget the last period. It's actually the the, the name server uh, that we're gonna create. Then the address for it, or the mail address. Uh, this will be actually become admin at spoon for the local dot. So don't even worry about that. Then do a uh, parentheses. This is your serial number, uh, and usually I make it the year, then the the date, and then just zero zero one. If I make a change again today, later on I'll make this two uh, reloaded because secondary domain name service will look at this uh, serial, and if it doesn't change, they won't change. So and if you change this, they will see oh it's changed. Now I need to reload new configuration files. Um, this is your uh, I keep forgetting. I know that this is the minimum. So the minimum time to be live. This is the expiry date. This is the refresh. And th these are all uh, values you can just uh, copy over. It's like, no worries. And below the serial was. Okay, I keep forgetting these things. Right, so it's serial. Um, Jesus Christ! I just looked at it. My mind is not in there today. Anyway, I just these sec uh, values are all in seconds. So just so you know, it was minimum expire, retry, refresh. I think that's it. Or this is retry and refresh. Ah, something like that. Uh, these you can just copy these values. They they'll be fine. Um, we'll start with a uh, internet name server record. So we'll do it for spoonfed.local. Don't forget that period. Uh, in name server and then the name server record. Uh, that will be the, the name of the name server. Will, that will be first dot spoonfed.local and then a dot. And actually for this is very weird. I know, but you need to add another one. Uh, second dot spoonfed dot local because if you do this on a server, GoDaddy expects to be two. It doesn't matter if the, if those two are actually on the same address. So, but it needs to have two. So let me just fix this quickly here. One 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 six eight dot one one one. Okay. So, uh, so we got two name servers set up. Um, don't forget those trading periods. Um, next section we'll do the A records that I talked about. So these are host names. So it will be first dot spoonfed.local that will be over at 192.168.1.11 which is our server address same goes with this one uh, we'll have a mail uh, set up for the future because we're going to set up mail as well so our mail server will be here as well and it will be called mail.spoonfed.local uh, and we'll have a subdomain called sub.spoonfed.local and I have no idea what we're going to do with it yet and we'll have a FTP as well. Let's set it that up. Basically, just add your subdomains to that one as long uh, as many as you want or as few as you want. Now, as what we're going to do as well is we're going to have. Um, you can also uh, set up a domain name server here for other hosts. Like uh, I don't know, you can do here Windows Seven 
or something like that and then say 192.168.1.app uh, leave it 7 like that and then this will know that if you type in Windows 7 in your browser and you set this up as this this to be your um, domain name server that Windows 7 that's moved at the local is actually the other machine name so you can create your own domain name here and basically map out your entire network uh, with names and uh, so you don't have to remember IP addresses so that's pretty cool so you can call this uh, for example media and you have your media server or you call this uh, upstairs I don't know up, god damn you upstairs uh, printer or upstairs printer if you want uh, in Windows you have a very cool option to select a DNS suffix so anything you would type in would add spoonfed at local immediately to it so you would only have to remember that one so you can type in your browser media and you will go to your media center but that's all for, that's all for the future now we're just concentrating on uh, making this server work uh, mail uh, will be an MX record and there's one value missing actually there should be another value here and we'll do it at zero uh, that value is the priority uh, you can make you if you have multiple mail servers then you could specify uh, the higher the number the uh, the sooner or the, the more priority it has so 50 is first and then like 40 then 30 then 10 but I'm just gonna do zero because it's the only one we have and we'll do a canonical name for www and that will be the same as first actually so yeah you can also have this like uh, that but you can also have this to be your that but then this will be a bit weird so uh, I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do like so I think so now we have everything set up correctly yes we have default time to live start authority mm, yeah so that's our forward look up zone and next video we'll do a reverse look up zone and then we uh, are almost done we can see if this thing works so see you next time